A couple more minutes, a couple more minutes. your attention and then I'll give you like another minute or two to, to if you're not quite finalized. So uh, when we go out in a minute, I'm going to be sending all of you out of the room. Okay, you're welcome to leave your stuff in here. I will be like in the doorway kind of watching from here. So your stuff is fine in here if you want to leave it or you can take it with you. Uh, when you're done, we're going to be coming back and you're going to be writing some stuff down as a group that you're going to turn into me to get credit for, for doing this activity. And I'll put that slide up when you come back, if it lets me. Um, otherwise, I'll write it up on the board. Uh, but what I want to do, so uh, I want to divide up where we go. Okay, now, in my experience, there's plenty of people here at this time. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it might take a little bit for you to find people. So you're just going to find what you can find. Uh, I think that we have six groups, if I count it correctly. So what I want to do is send one group to like over here, the performing arts building area, like vicinity, uh, one group toward the cafeteria bookstore. Uh, one group could go down the hill toward the academic center. There's usually a lot of people there. If you're feeling like you want some exercise, that's a good one. <laughs> Feel free to do that for me, right? Uh, then uh, Fountain Hall, which is building right over here. There's always a bunch of people in Fountain Hall. We have the library, we have this building, and then we have Raider Walk. So um, anyone, um, any group willing to go to the performing arts building, which is over here, right? Just that we just all just need to pick one. I don't want everyone going to the same spot. Okay, perfect. Performing arts, cafeteria, bookstore. Perfect, that's your group. Uh, let's skip one for a minute. How about Fountain Hall? Fountain Hall, right over here. Okay, so um, each is that building, is that fine? So you go here, and then um, all of you will do Raider Walk. Raider Walk is this long walk. Oh, we'll all do it. We'll all do it. Well, so you're only going to go to your specified area. And my goal with that is that way you're not all like swarming the one person who's in this building, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully by dividing you up that way. And you're welcome to roam a little bit outside of your area. That's like kind of your own base. Yeah. You need an area. So how, I'll have you go down to the academic center. So you go down the hill over right? So a couple of rules. We are obviously not going into classrooms, okay? <laughs> I hope I don't have to tell you that, but please do not go into the classrooms. You bust in the door. Right? Hey, guys. So, I'm so don't go into classrooms. Uh, obviously, don't ask people in, like, the bathroom. Okay, don't like, no, you're doing right. You walk up to a person or a group, give them a little bit of information. Don't just walk up and be like, hey, I have a question about sex. When they answer you. <laughs> so, give us information. I'm in a human sexuality class. We're doing a little bit of research. Would you mind answering the questions? Right? Like, preface it that way, you're going to have better results than if you just jump into something random. If people don't feel comfortable answering, they don't feel comfortable. That's interesting information too, 
Okay, so what I really want you to be doing is paying attention, writing down what you've come up with. There's no like set number of people you need to have. You might only get a couple, you might get a bunch. It, it really just kind of ends up being a little bit random that way. Did you have a so now there's no set number, right? So it would be uh if you get at least a couple of people, if you only get a few, that's fine. If you get a bunch, great. Just go with whatever is available. I really don't have control over that. If you go out there and there's only a handful of people, hopefully they will participate. Yes. Yeah. Great question. So that's my next thing. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you like a good amount of time for this. So what I want is I want you to be back in here at 1045. That's 30 minutes. Okay. So as a group, again, you can take your stuff. You can leave it. Your stuff will be safe here if you want to leave it here. But I'm going to have you get up. Hold on, just so I don't have to, to, don't have to yell so loud. I had to yell at softball yesterday and my voice is a little higher. Screaming at eight year olds. So a couple of things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Couple other things. Yeah. Uh, make sure you write everything down. Okay. And again, if there's nobody in that immediate area, you can always wait a few minutes. You're welcome to go to other spaces, but try and use that as like your hub. Um, I will be like standing out here, just kind of watching and waiting for you to come back. But please try and be back at 1045. That will give you enough time to write out some responses that you're going to turn in. And I obviously really want to hear how it went. And that will give us some time to talk about it as a class as well. So when you come back, there'll be some questions up here that you can write on one sheet to turn in together. But I wish you all luck, my little sexologist. I hope that you, I hope that you can lots of people luck and I'll be here. I'll be here when you get back. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. that's possible. <laughs> I mean, where are we going? We're going to. And again, if there's nobody over there, Oh, it's just so at that, uh, you're going to turn in. And then just kind of reflect on the party. So like, what did you find out? And then what are some of the issues? If you could do it again, what would you do? Not better. And it could be Yeah. 
I like that you're thinking about that, right? Like, how could you have gotten it maybe differently? No, I smile. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, that we have like both. I think it's a little bit of a I think it was a If you have a Wow, that is quite the read. I would think that's the minorities, right? Like basically, yeah, I'm surprised that only like the Shimon Taibi was. Most of the books, yeah, it's like we asked him if he were like a Swiss was, and he was like, I don't, I don't really care about that. And it's like, no, yeah, it's not everything so much, right? Yeah, but yeah, I mean, like, it's not like the Shimon That's what like for me. I was like, I mean, you're like, I was like, that's not a joke. So it's like, whatever. Yeah. 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 Or by the year old I feel like the person, I feel like the questions could have been like generalized. Yeah. Like if you could take better population, yeah. essentially, like a, so I think it's also like a Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm like, shy. Yeah. 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 question. So, I like, went to turn yeah. 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 No, just your, just kind of your general stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can do yeah. That was just for yeah. me. So, just uh, yeah. your general thoughts. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but they're also like, no. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's talk together. Still writing some thoughts. That's fine. Uh, but I have to hear how we went. That's so hard. So all of you came in with smiles. You know, that's good. Like nobody came in looking like defeated or broken down. So uh. It sounded like a lot of you got people, right? Like it sounded like everybody was able to ask. How did it go? Any group want to start? Just kind of a general, like, how did it go? Yeah. Okay, I love it. Oh, you want us to read it? Just like talk. No, just talk. Um, okay. uh, remind me, uh, let everyone know what you were wanting to find out. Okay. Was how often do women orgasm during sex? So our question was like mostly like female 
related, like, like you asked about things about the building. Um, and we found out we only see two people because we, there were like no really much around. It was just like that. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so it was pretty, we got pretty interesting answers. We asked if people were like religious and that affects like, how often they have sex. The answer is yes, most of the time. There are three religious people. Okay. So they didn't have like that kind of you know, um, you also try to find out like if people like what their sexual orientation was. Most people are straight, so that like will that one more question. But there's they have like temptation, temptation, they have sex, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, and most people they be having it a lot, like, okay. like three times a week. Or are you good? You were going to pay for people. Yeah. It's a little bit. We asked, like, how many times of Asian people have sex on average. Okay. okay. And most of the people said that they didn't have sex at all. Oh. But we had some people <laughs> give us, like, <laughs> give us, like, oh, I have sex, like, 0 0.2 times a week because I haven't had sex in, like, a few months. Or okay. Like, uh, I'm doing too much math on you. Like, you know, the population is zero. Okay. That's true. You're an average not even. We also know that a lot of people don't know what sexual orientation or identity means. So, no one is yet. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? I'm really glad you brought that up. And that is something that I see universally when we do it. When I've done this, I've done it for years at this point. Oftentimes, people are very confused by the terms orientation and gender. Uh, and like you said, what's your orientation? I'm a female, right? Oh, okay. No, and that's that's great. And if that's their point of knowledge, that's that's fine. But it's interesting how that could completely mess up data, right? If you don't even know. I love that. Other people just kind of a general, how did it go? What did you want to know? Oh, yeah. So, like, another one. Sure. And so, first, and then when we ask that question, it's like, uh, what's the one where you only like women? Okay. <laughs> I think we thought we'd be like super statistical about it. Okay. We're trying to like figure out the like heterosexual okay, that's what we're looking for, but like we just we're not, you know, we're not asking you to figure it out. Okay. So yeah. yeah. I don't our know. Question, our question was trying to figure out whether you masturbate more if you're in a relationship or you're single. Okay. And okay. sadly we didn't find anyone in the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> single library is single as hell. Yeah. So that's the thing. More than Yeah. Um, now you all know where to go. Yeah. And then also, I think I'm like, we also asked about the religious affiliation too, because that's kind of what the question was. And it was interesting because the person who said it had a strong religious affiliation, like by the most, you know, yeah. So like, that's the that's thing. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. All right. Anybody else as a group, what you wanted to know? Just general kind of thoughts. There's a couple of groups over here. You want to go? Yeah. We kind of had the same thing as the first group that went. We asked, like, um, like how women orgasm in sex, basically. Um, so we had to like change our question based off of like who we were interviewing, so we kind of had to like yeah. adapt. Okay, and it was like strange to like see um like our answers. Like some people like didn't know that there were different types of orgasms that you can achieve, or like different ways to achieve an orgasm. Okay, um, like some people didn't know like what penetration was, or like <laughs> they were like you are like come back to the class with me. Come on. <laughs> So you have to do some that kind of modifying as you went along. Yeah. Kind of okay. Yeah. Anybody else? A group as a kind of general? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
just said intercourse. Some people said genitals have to be involved. Okay. Different things. They yeah, ask sexuality, but it must be cool for sure. Interesting. Okay. How about, um, did your group want to share really quick? I'm just going to call you out, right? <laughs> I'm like, do you want to? Go ahead, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And it also depends on the relationship style. Okay. Yeah, but like, well, also, a lot of people didn't go Sure. And it's interesting. So, listening to this, there's a lot of people who needed some definitions of things, right? Or maybe didn't know. That's a very common issue with sex research of like, I don't know what you mean by, by that. I don't know what you mean by orientation. I don't know what you mean by gender. What, how are you defining X, right? That, that could be something. Uh, but it sounds like a lot of you ran into that you might need to do a little differently if you were to do it again. Sadly, we're not going to do it again, but if you were going to. Uh, how many of you by show of hands feel like somebody lied to you at some point? <laughs> a lot of you are. I started the dinner. I said 20 groups. How many of you went up to people in a group? Like, how many of you went up and asked people in a group? We like interviewed the whole group. No, we like took them like, like, separately. Yeah, yeah, we took them separately. Yeah. 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 Hold on one second. I was like, okay, can we do it separately? And so there was like an empty room. Hold on, hold on. Wait, like, okay. I know, I want to hear everything. Right? I know, I and there was an empty room, so we just took her to like the empty that. room. And we all just like sat down, like in this like big room, like in the conference room. And then um, when she left, like she just brought in another person and they just like kept coming in, bringing us for people. Just, like, sign on the door. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. It's a good approach. Because okay, I think people felt like safe. Yeah, yeah, like they felt like it was like more confidential. It wasn't like oh, like there's people here. Like I don't want them to like yeah, you know. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about these dynamics for a minute. Because if you went as a group or individually, or maybe your gender versus their gender, all those things can affect people's willingness to answer and how honest they might be with you. Did you have a thought of related to all that with the groups and oh, stuff? Well, Go ahead. Um, in the beginning, we were like talking about the group. Yeah. And then we went to a question, and so I was like, this is about this. Uh, yeah. So we did. Okay. I, but I like that, right? Like, because you give them a chance to answer privately. If you ask people in a group, you end up sometimes with that group think, where like one person says something and then everybody kind of jumps on it rather than maybe getting authentic information. Right. So, uh, did anyone have like interesting gender things or like your group, like, your group dynamic versus their group or individual dynamic? Yeah. Um, I just noticed that because there were a couple of times we're like, okay, we were like this guy, this guy, so we'll have him answer. Perhaps we maybe like, make him be more honest. We just noticed like, like you know, I you know even with the, the women, the females that we you know surveyed, uh, I tried to do it myself to be like maybe maybe they'll feel more comfortable talking to women. You know, in the same time, kind of sure. like, well, to be honest, it didn't make much of a difference. Like, oh, okay. with us in this. Um, maybe one or two people felt more comfortable with the same sex person answering the question, but I mean, that didn't really matter because again, I think we're all present. They were kind of by how we were all in the group. Right. Yep. We were all in the group to answer or whatever. And we also made sure to like, you know, because our question was really helpful. Well, we're like, you know, while we're answering them, because we kind of did a little bit of build up, like, you know, that any point we're answering questions like, oh, but we have to, you know, just because nice. I don't know, they have the option not to, if they are, then they would be more honest type stuff. I don't know. Yeah, put them in a little bit. Yeah. If you don't want to answer, that's okay. Yeah. Right. And and that's great. Obviously, it makes it complicated statistically when you're trying to report it, but you might get more answers that way. Anybody else just dynamic wise about your group versus the people you asked or related to gender? Any any kind of interesting things came up there at all? Yeah. I already talked to you about it already, but we did have like a good like variety of people with um, like different sexual orientations. Like we had a trans woman. We had four bi women, a queer woman, and then two straight men and then a gay man. Yeah, you had a lot of uh, a good diversity there, yeah. right? I like that. Okay. 
And you had somebody um, you were saying was a little on the like aggressive side. Okay. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and um, you had mentioned they they said their gender was an attack helicopter. Yeah. I would say that's pretty on the misogynistic side. Yeah, uh, straight. yeah, yeah. And so I don't know if that you know that term. I don't know if any of you heard that before. The attack helicopter. It's a very transphobic term. Like I mean, the story that was written a few years back. Like, uh, and so yeah, it, it's. it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, the way he would like talk and like, like he's like, like mannerisms are that's what he's talking off guard. And then we can be asking, like, like what's like, like where the clitoris was. Like, he's like, oh, I don't know. Like, basically, like, that doesn't apply to me. Right. He's like, no, and I don't care. Yeah, like, I'm somewhere like, shut up, keep me down again. It's for me to be able to hear. But I feel like men, that sorry, I feel like men that like, know how sexual relation because women like they want to know like where like the clitoris is like they want to like you know i don't know a lot of but that's why i'm saying so misogynistic yeah it's like no i don't care yeah it's not me i did yeah so out of curiosity how many of you feel like you got a good answer to your question just by showing it do you feel like you kind of you got a pretty good answer well, I see a lot of it. so so this is something that comes up again and again right is he ran into problems Anyone who does sexuality research, you go out with a question, you go out with demographics that you want, and then you don't find any people in a relationship. Or you find people who don't know what penetrative sex is, or don't know what gender is, or orientation is, and all of a sudden you have to adapt. You have to change what you're looking at, right? And then maybe you have to go back to the drawing board and go out and do this again, completely from scratch. It happens all the time in research in general, but specifically in sex research, right? Because the questions that you're asking there's so much to them, right? And oftentimes there's a comfort level. Uh, anything else interesting? Any other groups? Any other like interesting things that happened or pieces of information that you want to share? Anything else at all? Are you glad you got to do this? Would you want to do it? It was fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and most everyone. Because you're you're as like like 30 minutes. Yeah. You're trying to ask the least amount of questions possible to sure. get the most information. Mm -hmm. But usually surveys like people wait like a couple of weeks or months to get answers from so they can mm -hmm. feel it to be that they have like a larger sample to look at. Yeah. And you obviously would want much larger than like five to ten people as a sample to draw conclusions. And I heard a few of you talking as well about uh, if you could do it again, that you would almost hand them something they could fill out rather than asking. Because mm -hmm. there is something really intimidating about being like, hey, how often do you have you know, like, what do you, how do you sex? It's intimidating. I had a group ask me, and I had to think about it for a minute. I'm not comfortable talking about sex, so I'm like, little bit else, right? So, like, it might take you a minute to answer some of these questions. Maybe if you had the opportunity to write it or answer electronically, they might be more intimate. They might be a little more confidential. Uh, anyone run into, like, a professor? Oh, yeah. 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 Yes for you, no for you. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Julie. Julie. Oh. <laughs> Julie. Oh. <laughs> probably. We, we do it each other. Yeah. yeah. So a little awkward. Yeah. 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 Well, we didn't we didn't realize until we started answering. Oh. Okay. The first question we asked all of you. Somebody said something like. <laughs> yeah, and that's right. You know, I probably should. I probably should have mentioned that too. Yeah. In retrospect, on my end, things you could have done better. No. Uh, so, I hope that you enjoyed doing this. I think this is way more impacting than talking about because I think you get to see firsthand how many problems there can be with this type of research and how interesting it can be too. I mean, it's wildly interesting. But there's a lot of things to think about. And so uh, what I will do before you leave today, uh, make sure you give me the sheet with all of your first and last names. That's going to give you the 10 points for this activity. And then next mm -hmm. class, what will happen is we're going to move on to chapter four. So notice we're skipping chapter three for right now. We're moving on to chapter four, which is uh, gender. Right. So we'll be talking about gender. So all those people who didn't know what gender is, we will all know. For sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
We will have a health center meeting where we can unit on it and get FTI. Uh, they'll be coming in and they'll talk about the things they offer, including free condoms and testing and all these things. So, uh, as you mentioned, we'll stop here. As you mentioned, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all on, our, on Monday.